Hello everyone, before we get started with the regular program, I'd like to take a moment to just thank my sponsors. Jiffy Ice Augers, Otter Outdoors, Reed Sporting Goods, Northland Fishing Tackle, Quantum Fishing, and Lure Lock. Woohoo! Guess what? Guess where we made it? There he is. Willie the Walleye. We made it to Baudette. We're a little ways from, from uh, Long Point. We will catch up to you soon. And hopefully we're in the ice house catching fish. Alright, next stage of the game, we're at Long Point. We have made it, and as she was a frosty ride. Single digits, they're still saying that they're not making a lot of uh, ice up here. We're in one of the closest cabins. Do a quick tour of that. There you go. Alright, pretty typical. Pretty typical stuff, kitchen. Ugly friend, <laughs> living room, all the comforts of home. Just real quick, couple beds, what they're doing for COVID. Again, same thing here. Right now they're bringing us out, so I'm going to cut this one short. So we get to the ice shack and we will talk to you guys when I get out of the shack. made it got a couple weird cracks going on here so a lot of the houses are secluded over to this side you can see right behind us we got a pretty good ridge lucky 30 a little home away from home we'll try to get some more footage as it goes along of course some of us have to uh, grab a conference call here pretty soon. So I have Tony, Dan, and Vince. Again, 20 plus years coming up here. Here's what the shacks look like. And take a look at those little devices that Vince made. Your neck doesn't get sore. It clamps right to the side. Next million dollar idea. We'll be back shortly with hopefully fish. Kinda. Dan's trying his best to throw it back down the hole here. <laughs> oh no, he's not going back. Right. Oh, nice. Voila. There's one. But okay. we gotta put this one on a scale. See it, Tony. Okay, you gotta measure it too. You got the rock and roll jig on me? No wonder why you're double on me. <laughs> you caught anything. There it is, the redneck setup. It's lunchtime. We've probably got uh, 10, 11 fish in the bucket. I'll show you in a little bit. But this is, uh, we do it uh, kind of cheap, cheap here. Just to make sure that we're, I don't know that we're saving money, but um, it helps. Right, take a quick look at the bucket right here 
fish cooking in. Still happy phases. And we got the afternoon left to go. It's a place in a time. The boys are separated from the men. And dead silence takes them over. All right, we got one going here. It's kind of tight. Yes, baby. Oh, well, I can't see it yet. That'll do. Ooh, that's gonna be a two bigger. Nice job, Vincenzo. Yeah. Put it out here. All right, hold on. All right, look at me. Oh, eight dollar. Okay. Get her up on the board and see what she measures. Rock and roll. Look at that little lure involved. There's your secret lure. Vince usually just thumbs him like a bass, but I don't know. He <laughs> must be getting old in his age. Tony's was 21. Okay. She's not going to let me see. It's some more, probably. Yeah, 22. 22 inches. All right. Nice job, Vince. All right. We are closing it out for the in for fishing for the day, and we finished at 58. 58 for today. We got a bucket full of fish. We're gonna eat some Parmesan crusted fish tonight, like little piggies, and. Uh, Come on out tomorrow and hopefully pull a limit again. I believe we're, again, 58 fish. I think we have 19 keepers. Uh, great day. We have a 22, a 21. So we've had a little bit of everything today. Nope, that light sucked. Everybody had fun, fun for all. So next we'll probably see you when we're cooking. All right, the real end of our day. Day number one. We're going to go with Parmesan crusted walleye tonight. Right there. There they are. We've got kind of a little bit of a mess going on here. Things charging. People cleaning up. Uh, due to COVID, we couldn't get in the the cleaning shack right away. And that's why we went with the, the Parmesan crusted. It's the quickest way to feed a bunch of fat guys. So right now, we just got the fish laid out. Right there. No Jiffy shirt. Right there. We're gonna do that at 450. We're waiting for this to warm up. 450. Cook the fish first, then we're gonna put the special batter on. Parmesan crusted batter. Right there. I'll try to get the recipe in the link below. Okay, we're in the next stage of our Parmesan crusted fish. Go ahead and take a look at this. We put it in a bag. Cut the tip. Right now, I'm just going to go. Just, you know, I got a little thick on that end. I'm going to go down the center, and I'm going to spread it out here in a little bit. Just trying to make sure we have enough for everything. Oh, this stuff is so good. We're going to go to the next pan over here. I'm not a cake decorator. And again, this stuff will, it's kind of a, a butter crusted thing. It melts and then we'll spread it out. Like I said, when we get, when I get done, just getting it out of the bag. I'm sure my wife is, and Kathy are asking what the heck I'm doing, but I don't know. We got plenty. This is kind of a double batch of what I've made, but. I'll adjust the the recipe accordingly. Start smashing it down a little bit. Let's get another angle on that. Yep. And this will this will just melt and glaze over. And now we're gonna we're gonna put it back in the oven at the same 450. Let that get in there. Then we'll do it for, what was it, like 10 minutes. 
on 450 and then we hit broil for like a minute just to to get that nice glaze over the top go ahead and pop that open Vince here we go we broil them look at that goodness I can't tell you how good it smells inside this cabin right now but there are four guys that are going to devour this in seconds. There it is. Extremely low carb. Extremely bad for your heart. But four guys, we're going to devour this in seconds. And tomorrow is day two. Thanks everybody for day one. It was a long day. It takes it out of you, but it's all worth it right there. All right, day number two. We got the boys just showed up with the cadet. Cadet. With the ranger. Um, we're headed out to see what we can do. We have uh, a little bit lighter load. We left some of it out in the ice house. We, in the mornings, we usually do like uh, just a sausage McMuffin type thing. We make up. We had a few pre-made, dropped them in the oven. It went great. We will see you in the ice house. Been a little slow this afternoon. Got one going down here. It's right here. Somebody hang on to Dan's right feet while he goes down there and gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what he's doing down there, guys. He said he missed his wife. But he, this he's, is right about, he's right about he's right about here. <laughs> I got him. He's not even that big. <laughs> Apparently he's fire. Feisty anyways. Things you do for a fish. Day two lunchtime. You can see here some people are packing up. It was super busy out here. Look at that. Boom, there's a truck. About 13 inches of ice. This ice heave over here is showing some water, so. I don't know what's shifting or moving. We can see the people down on this corner. Definitely people in the rentals. You can see Kelly over there still checking on everybody. But uh, Saturday is always a, one of those days that there's a little more traffic, a little more people. Again, you can look down there. You can see them fishing the break. We're sitting at uh, 9 or 10 in the pail. Um, Lunchtime burgers again. This little black grill right here with the propane cylinder is our, our go to. All right, wrapping up the day, day two. Final count 41 for the day and 17. 16, 16 and one perch. So, fried fish. When we clean up and get ourselves back in, uh, had some all right 17s, 18s. We didn't have any monster walleyes for the day. So we'll see you around the fry pan. All right, peeps, we made her back to the camper. Camper. We made it back to the cabin, and here we are. The top secret recipe, Dano. Pork chop. Shake and bake and uh, shore lunch. Yep. So here's what we do. One thing of original pork. One thing of shore lunch. Yep. It's a little on a little bit on the saltier side, but using the shore lunch and the shake and bake, you get a super crispy fr fish out of it. So right here, we're just dipping in eggs. We're just finishing this up. Light boy over there is out there frying. So it's fried fish tonight, and we will see you when it's done. There it is. Finished product of day number two. This is our deep fry night. Tater tots, and there's the finished product. I know everybody's going to probably ask again. Go ahead, guys. These guys are vultures. We're going to go over here. One package of original pork shake and bake. 
to one package of original shore lunch and again you can go with cajun or anything like that but that shake and bake that shake and bake is what that's what's going to make it even crispier you can also use panko but shore lunch it's the bomb Good. all right end of day two we're going to get a little morning fishing tomorrow because that's what boys do and then we'll head home and it's just an extended weekend trip so we'll see you in the morning Day number three, it's bittersweet, it's time to go home, but we're guys, so we're going to scratch out a few hours out in the ice house till about 11 or noon, and then we're all pre-packed, ready to go. It's another great uh, great year at Long Point. We, uh, we've had an awesome, awesome trip, but sometimes it's the last day, a little less traffic out there. It's just as good as Friday, so remember that when you're coming up that if you can make a full day out of Friday or go Saturday to Monday and get a full day out of Monday, it's worth the wait in gold. Saturdays are just busy. Understand we're all working men here too, but uh, COVID, man, use them vacation days. Who cares? Oh, well, just be Tony's record. <laughs> right there, guys, last one of the day. We're very close. Nope. I mean, <laughs> see, it's just. <laughs> there you go, Dan. Your fish. Yeah. All right, fifteen. Yeah. All right, probably uh, one of the last ones we're gonna have for the for the trip. All right. It's official. Just got done paying. Um, we for a half day today we did uh, 21 fish, and we kept nine to help close out our limits for take home. So the spot we were at today, there was good eater walleyes, 13s, 15s. You know, right in that bread basket area there a few saugers lots and lots of throwbacks but I know there's people that are saying that it's uh, there's too many smalls but catching's catching that's why we come up here you know real slowly get them to go back um, we're at 23 years I don't know what it is but this group of guys so Next two weeks from now, we'll do a girls' trip and book our same dates, but the fishing was great. It's cheap, three days of fishing, two nights of staying. How much longer we can keep doing that two o'clock in the morning thing? I don't know. But it's worth it. It's fun. They're good people up there. They're busy. They've got some really weird cracks going on there. Um, the cracks have been going out and coming back at them. So it's pie shaping some of their fishing areas and the weather is just not, seems weird, but it's not cooperating to uh, keep it cold enough for them to make more ice. But they let a few single half ton stuff out there. No wheelhouses yet. So we'll find out. And uh, I don't know if my, my other tips and tricks videos will, will be before this or after this, but uh, I have a few of those videos to help you fish Lake of the Woods. Again, we'll try to get more fish footage as the the year goes on. And uh, thanks for staying staying tuned to the Outdoor Cruise. Talk to you later.